E ora la prima presentazione eh, in inglese. Eh, il titolo del prossimo intervento è Soil Biology, Biologia del suolo, della terra. Un grandissimo applauso per il prossimo concorrente che è il numero due, ricordate, pronuncerò malissimo il nome, dopo vi chiederò come gli chiederò come si pronuncia correttamente. Signore e signori, Hamza Chamem. Game of Thrones, sottotitoli, Il Trono di Spade. It's a TV series about sex and violence that summarizes all my talk about soil biology. How is that, you ask? Well, the below ground is dark and full of terrors. Microorganisms are trying to take over the three horizons of the soil, exploiting nutrients to multiply in numbers in colonized space. But why do we care? Uh, to answer that question, I'm going to tell you a story about my mother. You see, my mother loves gardening. The only problem is that back in our garden, nothing grew well. All plants ended up dying. And it made her sad. And it broke my heart. And that's why I decided to become an engineer in crop protection, to learn all about those villains behind my mother's sadness. And it turns out they are mainly fungi, bacteria, and nematodes, and sometimes insects, but mostly microorganisms who share our love for plants. Only that we human beings don't like sharing. So what we did was we put our masks on and we sprayed pesticides everywhere. The good news is that it worked. They died. The bad news is, it kills us too. So that's when we stepped back and we observed. And what we have learned was astonishing. Because soil biology is not all about brutality. It's an entire civilization built on recycling, trading, as are some bacteria who take nitrogen from the soil, give it to the plant, and take back energy in return. And there are others who are just civilians, living in harmony, protecting our plants. But most importantly, whenever there are villains, there are heroes. Whenever there are night walkers, there's the night watch. And we, if we could use those heroes against villains, that's what we call biological control. But this is a topic for another time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And, uh, what's the correct pronunciation of your name? I'm sorry, because I, I, I pretty invented. Be Hamza. Hamza, and your surname? Shemem. Uh, Hamza Shemem, OK. Are you satisfied with your performance here? Uh, yeah, I think uh, it went well. Pretty yeah. satisfied. That's great. Uh, uh, Thank you. Pronti, pronti per la seconda presentazione? Biological control on soil-borne pathogens. Hamza Chamem, vai! Applauso! Now, well, earlier on, we called soil-borne pathogens villains. And we called biocontrol agents superheroes. Now, The thing about superheroes is that I have always had a question. I have Superman here. And I was always wondering if I needed help back in my hometown, in the desert, would Superman fly so fast to rescue me? And then I thought, what if, while coming to rescue me, there is someone else who needs to be rescued in the US? And that's when I understood that superheroes cannot be in two places at the same time. He chose the US, can't blame him really, but in the same situation in the soil, our microorganisms, biocontrol agents, these heroes cannot be found in all soils. 
only in some specific soils that we call suppressive soils, where the disease is there, villains are there, but they are under control of biocontrol agents. And something else that we have discovered is that they do not work individually. They are united, something like in the movie The Avengers, when the guardians of the galaxy united with Thor to defeat Thanos. And that's exactly how the situation now. Now, in non-suppressive soils, you can find villains all over the place who are doing horrible things and not letting our plants grow properly. So you would think biological control is easy. You just transfer these heroes from suppressive soils to non-suppressive soils. Uh, the problem here is that you're going to have to supply them with their needs individually. Because some prefer pizza margherita, others prefer pizza ananas. It's one way or the other. So, researchers thought of something else. What if, if we have a villain, we choose the fittest superhero and we clone him, we multiply him. Like, if we have the Joker here, we pick up Batman, many Batmans, an army of Batmans, and we send them all to fight against him. That way, he doesn't have a chance. And that is how we ended up controlling soil-borne diseases. Thank you. Stay with me. <laughs> no, 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 you have to stay here. Uh, just a moment. A question from the jury, Valentina Rapozzi. Sorry, I wanted to know if you, have, you, if you are a researcher or a student, uh, what you... Yeah, I'm a PhD student, yeah, okay. at the University of Trento. Okay. Okay. And uh, what uh, course, uh, what kind of uh, your research? I'm actually what? working on this, on a okay. biocontrol agent, but I'm working on formulations uh, to sustain their growth in the soil and to multiply them the way okay. I was speaking now. Okay, thank you. Uh, can I ask you why have you decided to participate in Pavement? There is a reason specific. Well, it, it's a funny story, actually. It's because I'm in the Department of Civil, Mechanical and Environmental Engineering. And it happens that all my friends are from the Mechanical Engineering. And to explain this to them, it was like soil-borne pathogens and I'm working on that and this. And it wasn't really... I had to come up with something very creative and very easy to, to explain to them. And that's how I ended up presenting my PICO session for the University of Trento. And then when I saw FameLab, and I thought, I could present that. I, can, I could use that. So uh, here, here I am. Here we are. <laughs> OK. <laughs> OK, thank you very much, Amar. Thank you. Thank you.